Have you ever received an email from a complete stranger? What if that stranger turned out to be a psychopathic killer? In a world where technology has made it easier than ever to connect with others, it's important to be cautious. But what happens when caution isn't enough? Imagine opening your inbox to find an email from someone who claims to be a psychopathic killer. What would you do? Would you ignore it? Or would you respond? It's a dilemma that many of us will never have to face, but for some, it's a reality. It's a hell of a dark world. The names, emails, and places mentioned in this story have been omitted and changed for the protection of the audience. This story is a work of fiction and should not be taken as a representation of any real events or individuals. The content may be disturbing and not suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. As I sat in front of my computer screen scrolling through my emails, I couldn't help but feel a sense of unease. It was like something was lurking just beyond the edge of my vision, waiting to pounce. And then I saw it. An email from a sender I didn't recognize. It was titled John Smith the Psychopath at gmail.com. My curiosity peaked. I opened the email and started to read. What I found within those digital walls was nothing short of terrifying. The words on the screen twisted and turned like a serpent, filling me with a sense of dread and foreboding. It was like I was peering into the mind of a true madman. This John Smith was no ordinary person. He was a twisted and sadistic individual with a fascination for pain and a desire to control others. His emails were filled with vulgar profanity and graphic descriptions of violence, painting a vivid picture of a mind twisted beyond recognition. But as much as his words repulsed me, I couldn't stop reading. It was like I was being pulled deeper and deeper into his twisted world, a world where pain and suffering were the only currency that mattered. With every email, the tension grew. Each word dripped with a sense of ubiquity, as if John Smith was watching my every move, waiting to strike. And yet I couldn't look away. I was drawn to his madness like a moth to a flame, unable to resist the allure of the unknown. As I delved deeper into his twisted psyche, I couldn't help but wonder who was this John Smith? What had he experienced that had driven him to such depravity? And most importantly, what was he capable of next? It was a question that hung in the air like a storm cloud casting a shadow over everything I did. Every time I checked my inbox, I was filled with a sense of trepidation, wondering if the next email would be the one that pushed me over the edge. And yet, despite the fear and the unease, I couldn't stop reading. It was like I had become addicted to the madness, unable to resist the pull of John Smith's twisted world. Little did I know, as I continued to delve deeper into his emails, that I was about to unlock the door to a world of horror and madness, unlike anything I had ever experienced before. It was a journey into the darkness, a journey from which there could be no return. The first email from John Smith, the psychopath at gmail.com, sub JCT, my twisted world. Hey there, I'm John Smith. I know what you're thinking. Just another boring name. But trust me, there's nothing boring about me. You see, I'm a psychopath and not just any psychopath. I'm the real deal. I lack empathy, I'm manipulative, and I have an insatiable desire for control. But you know what? I don't give a damn what anyone thinks of me. I'm proud of who I am. My story starts when I was a kid. My parents were abusive, both physically and emotionally. They would hit me, berate me, and make me feel worthless. But I wasn't going to let them break me. Instead, I took control. I started to manipulate them, using their own fears and insecurities against them. It was like a game to me, and I was damn good at it. As I got older, I started to realize that I was different from other people. I didn't feel emotions like they did. I didn't care about anyone else's feelings or well-being. And you know what? It felt liberating. I was finally free to do whatever the hell I wanted, without having to worry about what other people thought. But it wasn't until I started to explore the darker side of my psyche that I truly found my calling. I began to experiment with violence and sadism, pushing the limits of what I was capable of. And let me tell you, it was fucking exhilarating. Now I'm not going to bore you with the details of my twisted little world. Suffice it to say I've done some pretty fucked up shit. But you know what? I don't regret any of it. I'm living my best life and nothing is going to stop me. So there you have it. A glimpse into the mind of a true psychopath. 
I hope you found it as enlightening as I did. The second email from John Smith, the psychopath at gmail.com sub JCT, the dark side of my world. Hey there, it's me again, John Smith, the one and only. In my last email, I gave you a glimpse into my world, but now I want to take you even deeper. I want you to see the dark side of my world, the side that most people are too scared to even imagine. You see, I've always had a fascination with death. I find it beautiful in a way, the way that a life can be snuffed out so easily. And you know what? I've done my fair share of snuffing. There was this one time I was out on a walk when I saw this guy, let's call him Dave, walking his dog. He was just an average Joe, nothing special. But something about him triggered me. Maybe it was the way he walked or the look in his eye, I don't know. But I knew I had to have him, so I followed him for a while, biding my time. And then, when he was least expecting it, I struck. I remember the feeling of the knife in my hand, the way it slid into his flesh like butter, and then the look on his face as he realized what was happening. It was beautiful, but that's not even the worst part. You see, I didn't just kill him. I made sure to take my time, to really savor the moment. I remember the feeling of his blood on my hands, the way it dripped down my arms and onto the ground. It was like music to my ears. And you know what? I didn't stop there. After I was done with Dave, I had a hunger inside of me that I couldn't ignore. So I went out looking for my next victim, and before long I found her. She was a young woman walking home from work. I don't remember her name, it doesn't matter anyway. What matters is the way she screamed as I dragged her into the alleyway. The way her eyes widened in terror as she saw the knife in my hand. It was like music to my ears. I won't go into the gory details, but suffice it to say that I made sure to take my time with her too. I wanted to make sure that every moment was perfect. And it was. It was the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. Now I know what you're thinking. This guy is fucked up. And you know what? You're damn right I am, but you know what else? I don't care. I'm proud of who I am, and I'm not going to apologize for it. The third email, from John Smith, the psychopath at gmail.com, sub JCT, my obsession. Hey there, it's me again, John Smith. I'm sorry if my last email was a little intense, but you know what? I'm not sorry. That's just who I am. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about something that's been on my mind lately. You see, I've been trying to be better. I know that killing people is wrong and I don't want to get caught. But at the same time, I can't help but feel this obsession. Lately, I've been killing animals, cats, dogs, pets, you name it. I know it's fucked up, but it's like a compulsion. I just can't help myself. And you know what? I don't feel bad about it, not one bit. These animals are weak, easy prey. If they didn't want to die, they should have fought back. But they didn't, and now they're dead. It's as simple as that. But even as I kill these animals, I can't help but think about how much better it would be if it were a person. If I could just find the right victim, someone who wouldn't be missed, someone who deserved it. Well, let's just say I wouldn't be able to resist. But I'm trying to be better. I really am. I know that killing people is risky and I don't want to end up in jail. But sometimes the urge is just too strong. It's like a hunger inside of me that can't be satisfied. Anyway, on a completely unrelated note, I listen to your band and I have to say I'm impressed. I really dig the dark and twisted vibe. In fact, I was wondering if you'd be interested in meeting up sometime. I think we could really vibe together, if you know what I mean. Let me know what you think. P.S. Sorry if my last email was a little intense. I hope I didn't scare you too much. But you know what? If I did, that's your problem, not mine. It's a hell of a dark world, and I'm just living in it. After reading the emails from John Smith, it's clear that he is a dangerous and disturbed individual. With a lack of empathy, a desire for control, and a fascination with violence, it's only a matter of time before he acts on his urges and harms someone. Despite his attempts to control his impulses and only kill animals, it's likely that John will eventually give in to his darkest desires and turn to human prey. Whether he is caught by law enforcement or continues to evade justice remains to be seen. But one thing is certain. He is a ticking time bomb, and the people around him are in danger. It's thrilling to read about someone like John, with his twisted mind and insatiable desire for blood. But at the same time, it's terrifying to think that there are real-life individuals out there who share his tendencies. It's a reminder that evil exists in the world, and we must remain vigilant and aware of the dangers around us. Cragen's Dark World is excited to announce that we will be releasing follow-up videos to our recent story about a psychopath. We want to give you, 
our audience a deeper understanding of what makes a person snap like this. We welcome your stories and ideas, so feel free to email us at kriegensdarkworld at gmail.com. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. It's a hell of a dark world, 